What do we know more about the epidemiology? Because understanding that surely is going to unlock all possibilities into the future. Let's take severity. Simply dividing the total number of deaths by the total number of confirmed new cases as reported at any single point in time in an expanding epidemic is going to lead you to the wrong answer. It's wrong because it takes about two to three weeks, as best as we can tell, in order to have resolution of what may happen to somebody who is infected. It requires careful statistical or mathematical adjustment. And the answer is probably going to be closer to 1.4%. And that would be the case fatality ratio amongst all symptomatic cases. So generally, there are three levels. One is amongst everybody who's infected. Then the next level up is symptomatics. And then the third level would be everybody who's hospitalized, who's sick enough to be hospitalized. So clearly, when you go up from one level to another, you will get a higher and higher case fatality risk. And that's what we're talking about with severity. And finally, susceptibility goes to the very important question, I, for example, of should we close schools? Mainland China, Hong Kong, Japan, Italy have all closed schools. The big question is, are children really susceptible? Because if you look at the reported case numbers, children seem to be relatively spared. But does it mean that they are not susceptible? Or does it mean that they are equally susceptible, but they don't present as very ill patients and therefore they're being missed? Or if they are susceptible, then are they infective? That is, do they go on to infect others? Do they spread it to others? Like in flu, children are a very important group of that transmission matrix. And if they are like flu, infective or even particularly infective, then closing schools would be the right thing to do.